Welcome everyone to Quizma Tech and Gaming Technical Support, or as like I would call your tech help. Now, for those of you who own iPods, you may find that getting music on it is easy, but getting music off it is somewhat difficult. Well, I know of an easy way to handle this, and I will be showing you here today. Now, I have an uh, 80 gig iPod Classic. And I lost, uh, for this scenario, I, let's say I lost all my music on my desktop and my only copy is on my iPod. What should I do? Well, first, you connect your iPod Classic or whatever iPod you have to your computer and you wait for this prompt to pop up. open my folder, close out this. Now what you want to do is you want to show hidden files and folders. So you press Alt, you can minimize iTunes, hit Alt, it'll pop, you click Tools, click Folder Options, click View, and then you'll see an option that says Hidden Files and Folders. Click Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives. Click OK. Now you'll see a new folder here, iPod Control. Double click it. You'll see music. Double click it. Then you'll have all these number folders, like it'll say F00 and so on and so forth. Now if you were to go into each of these folders, you'll see that they're music files, but they're named with four digit codes. Now, if you want your library to be organized, that's a problem because if you had it in its title view, you'll, as you see, you don't know what it is unless you see the album art. Now, the easy way to fix all this is to copy your music folder to your desktop. And as you see, I have 21 gigs, a lot of movies. as it says, about 35 minutes. And you'll see the folder here hidden, but it is copying all this to it. Now I'm going to cut this a little short. Now you have your music folder. Let's say you're all done. You go to right click, go to properties, remove the hidden checkbox, click OK. Then you want to make sure it's apply changes to folder, subfolders, and files. Click OK. Now it's no longer hidden. Now what you want to do is you want it so all this is organized by the title of the song, you know, the 0102 for each track for each album, and you want it all organized. The best way to do this is a feature that's in iTunes. What you'll do is you go to Edit, go to Preferences, go to Advanced, and you'll see something that says iTunes Music Folder Location, and it's set for in your music folder. What you want to do is change it to your desktop. There you go, music. And then you want to put a checkbox in there, keep iTunes music folder organized. Then you click OK. Now it will be updating your iTunes library. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while.
another great Apple product. Now, as you can see, it never finished it. Reason being is that it thinks that your iTunes library isn't there. So the best way to fix that is actually quit iTunes, click music, you want to scroll down until you see a folder called iTunes. Go into it and you want to delete library and music library. Those are actually the database files for iTunes to know where the location of your music is. So now if you were to go back into iTunes kind of loads faster in Windows 7, which is a shocker. You want to click File, Add Folder to Library, then you want to go to your desktop, click your music folder, click OK, and now it's going to import it into the database. After it adds the files and processes the album artwork, which I'll skip and skip that too, your music should be organized. There you go. So now instead of having those, you know, all those weird digit codes for everything, of course a few will be like that. Usually if it's a movie file, that it won't change. You have to change that yourself. But now if I go into America, it'll have the it'll go by artist, then album, and now your song, which is actually organized. So now when you play, there you go, you got your Ventura Highway. And that's it for this lesson from Quizma Tech and Gaming. I'm John Monahan, the site owner and the site manager. And I hope to see you next time for another instructional video. Thank you.